for consumers, the newest thing we have is the Redesign Everybody Walk app. It's an application that's focused specifically on tracking your walk. It supports the everybodywalk.org website, which is the bigger overall campaign powered by Kaiser Permanente. And this application is a complete redesign focusing on tracking your walk, but primarily around setting a goal for your walk, whether it's time, how, much, how long you want to walk, distance, how far you want to walk, or pace and calories burned, um, how many calories you want, to, you want to burn during your walk. You can set a goal for each one of those. Very easy, intuitive start dial. As you complete your walk, it tells you how far along that goal you are. When you, when you end it, you have a map of where you've been, and then you can name it, you could describe it, you could save it as a normal walk that you normally do, and you can also share it with Facebook and Twitter. So we're really excited about that, and think it's really just a focused application in support of a better program. In addition to, to that, we are um, continuing to improve our KP application for members. And this is the application for every member. Um, we're really looking forward to launching our new redesign of the, of the app. It allows you to, to primarily email your doctor, schedule upcoming appointments, view upcoming appointments, refill your medications, see your prescriptions, and, and overall view your medical record with your allergies, your immunizations, and your test results. Uh, we've taken a lot of time and worked really hard at the end of last year and into, into the first quarter of this year and doing a complete redesign, uh, completely engaged, intuitive, and the performance is a lot quicker. So we're excited about that. That's going to run on iOS and Android as well and should be coming out within the, uh, I would say, the next 30 to 60 days. So what I think makes a really good app is obvious focus and care in the design and the simplicity of it. It can't be complicated. It can't be um, overloaded with features and, and seemingly important functionality. It's very clear what it does. So think about the apps that you use, which are the ones that you like using or which ones you use more often. And you'll probably notice that they're designed really well. They're focused on a smaller set of, of capabilities that are important to you, and it's easy to use. My, my Nike Fuel Band, which I'm wearing, um, the application on that is fantastic. But it's just a way of seeing not only my activity, but sort of in context of my day, in context of my week. And it's a constant reminder being on my wrist as well as on my phone that I may take the stairs instead of the elevator, um, or I may park a little bit farther from the office. Endomondo is the application that I use anytime I run. Um, it's just really focused on the activity of tracking your run, much like our app is around tracking your walk. And, and it's very easy to see <clears throat> what my rate was during each mile, which one, and it puts a little rabbit next to my fastest one and a turtle one next to my slowest one. Um, if I did wear a heart monitor, which I don't, but it could, it could integrate that in so I could see how my heart rate was going as well. It's, uh, it's really impressive.